recovers. Shot clock winding down. Curry's going to have to put it up, launches it up. Shot clock. Oh, he knocks it down. Steph Curry with the shot clock expiring. If you're looking to get your badges grinded fast and legit, make sure you hit up Wish Grinders on Instagram and Twitter. They're the most legit and fast badge grinders in the community. Their links will be in the description. Yo, what's up, AJC here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the scariest offensive build, the three-point playmaker. This is considered like the Steph Curry type build, and I am telling you guys, this is one of the best offensive builds out there. You are not gonna have trouble scoring. So if you're looking for a build that gets you an easy bucket, this may be the build for you, okay? So we're gonna get straight into that in today's video, but before we get into it, first off, mean the world if you could like this video, it only takes two seconds. And secondly, if you do wanna shout in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below on this one. Let's just make a three-point playmaker. All right, comment that down below. So I got a comment on my last video and someone said, how would AJC look if he wore the same clothes as his my player? Um, my guy's naked. All right, then naked it is. All right, guys, let's get straight into today's video. So I did want to give a quick shout out to Grio. He has thankfully lended me his footage of his playmaking shot creator. That is the exact same build I'm going to be showing you how to make. So these are his highlights on, you know, how to actually use this build. So shouts out to Grio. Guys, his link will be in the description. Make sure you go check him out. But let's talk about this build for a second. When I say it is a Steph Curry build, it is pretty much everything Steph Curry can do, okay? The thing that makes him so special is his offensive presence. He can literally shoot from anywhere. I'm talking as soon as he passes the half court line you're in big trouble and i think that's the same with this build guys you are gonna have no problem you know hitting deep shots deep fade shots any type of shot you decide to take this is definitely the type of build to be able to hit those shots very effectively and very consistently okay and i think that's what makes this build so special the offense is honestly insane now you're probably thinking oh ajc you said the offense is good so the defense is probably terrible i am telling you no that is not the case with this build guys we are able to rack up 10 plus defensive badges on this build that i'm about to show you okay it's honestly insane how it actually works but it's got you know 10 plus defensive badges so you are gonna have you know a build that can also clamp up and it's pretty much a secret two-way type build okay but you do have the name three-point playmaker something that curry doesn't really do curry doesn't really play defense that well but on top of that that's pretty much it when it comes to you know how like well this uh build kind of performs when it comes to the offense guys and that is basically what you want the ankle breakers are there you know the limitless range type shots are all there guys hall of fame shooting badges you know you got the whole nine when it comes to offense um, in that case so that is basically it when it comes to the i guess the the negatives about this build it really isn't too much maybe the finishing is the only downside but like i said with the types of shots you're shooting guys you are going to be able to create so much space that hitting a layup you know it will be very very easy because you're able to create space very effectively with a build like this okay so you're gonna have no problems there so besides that we're gonna get straight into how to actually make this build right now all right so let's get into how to actually make this three-point playmaker from scratch so to start off you're gonna pick the position as a point guard that way you get the most badge points out of it hey it doesn't matter right or left up to you and then jersey number if you can make it 69 okay but now nah, jersey matter does uh, jersey number doesn't matter okay after that guys the skill breakdown we're actually going to be choosing um is pretty obvious it's going to be this one which is a playmaking and shooting hence why we're making a three-point playmaker so the physical we're actually going to be choosing is the first one which gives you the most speed and acceleration and some good vertical and some solid strength as well okay now this is how you're actually going to uh, distribute sorry the actual points is pretty simple so what you're gonna do is guys driving layup max out to 77 and then go two ticks down to 75 okay mid-range three point uh free throw and post fade max that out and then drop uh mid-range to 83 so you save one tick right there okay ball handle pass accuracy and then post moves to 56 so let me just get 56 real quick uh, 56 right here you're gonna get 21 playmaking okay 21 that is definitely more than enough for you to work with um and you should be good there now we have 190 you know badge points left oh sorry no badge points attribute points left and you're actually gonna max out everything in the defense okay the only thing you're not gonna max out is offensive rebound you're actually gonna max out defensive and then put the rest on offensive to give you 11 defense badges guys 11 defense badges that is way more than a playmaking shot creator three-point playmaker can ever get you know using this pie chart i'm telling you that right now now guys i know you're probably worried oh ajc only got one finishing i'm telling you you're going to be shooting more than anything with numbers like an 83 mid-range 84 three-point you're going to be playing more like ticino okay you can shoot fadeaways you know you got a post fade of 86 so you're going to be fading away no problem whatsoever and that's why i like to just have the driving layup up, uh you know up out of everything else because at least you know you're going to be able to finish at the ring very effective okay and like i said guys if you decide to max out driving down close shot you only get like two finishing badges three finishing badges so it's not worth the you know the attribute points guys you're going to be 
wasting it. You're not going to be able to get 55 badge points as much as you get um, from this layout right here. And you know, you know me, guys. I'm more about the badges than anything else. So 55 badges, guys, definitely more than enough. Um, just take a quick look. If you need to pause it, feel free. But this is how you're going to look um, when it comes to the distribution of attribute points. Okay, so body shape, you're actually going to pick whatever. It doesn't matter. We're just going to go build. doesn't matter. Now, the height I actually recommend is six foot five. Okay, the reason why, guys, interior defense goes up, which is really good. Block goes up by plus 11. And your mid-range, it's not really taking a hit. Okay, your mid-range goes down by one, which is nothing. Post fade goes up by one. Um, and a lot of people like scared, like, oh, AJC, 84 ball handle, 87 speed. Am I going to be able to speed boost? Yes, you are still going to be able to speed boost. You know why, guys? Because of the Gatorade facility. Okay, if you don't know if you go to the Gatorade and you do like the, the challenges or whatever you call it, you actually get plus three to your speed, okay? So judging by this chart, I'll put it up. Uh, but judging by this chart, guys, if you got a 90 speed, an 84, 83 ball handle is definitely more than enough for you to be able to speed boost. So don't be scared being like, oh, AJC, I'm not going to be able to speed boost. You are, trust me, you know, especially with the Gatorade practice, okay? Now, with the weight, a lot of people say to minimize it. But for this build, guys, I'm actually not going to do that. One, I don't like to take a decrease on the, uh, on the interior defense, okay? I think interior defense is very important, guys. It really helps you, you know, stay in front of your defender especially against slashers in the paint so i just went with the normal weight of 195 okay so decided not to change it um and just keep it at 195 now with the wingspan okay the wingspan you can actually bring it all the way to 84.4 and you're still going to be able to speed boost once you have a 90 speed because of the gatorade uh you know practice facility okay so 84 is the money guys 84.4 and it also helps you get the name three point playmaker because other builds guys or like sorry other wingspans it actually changes your name so if you want the three point playmaker name as well 84.4 is a wingspan to go for okay so you have the choice between playmaking spot up shooter or shot creator takeover me personally guys i heard you know shot creator takeover is on, like it's overpowered because you know the way tyceno uses it and all these other shot creators um but i see playmaker being a really good one as well you're able to break ankles um so it's really up to you um now spot up shooter it can work for you but you know it's really up to your play style how you want to play um uh, but those are the three options you have when it comes to your takeover okay so you see here guys you have built a three point playmaker similar to Stephen Curry okay so look it's surprising because you see Gary Payton as well and Gary Payton was a defensive point guard guys he was a defensive point guard and I think that's why it's coming up because you got 11 de defensive badges on this build and it's honestly something that no one is going to expect you are going to be locking people up you're basically a two-way okay I'm surprised this is not a two-way three-point playmaker but I will show you how I would lay out the badge points um, on this build just to help you out okay so We'll go through it um, very, very quick, okay? So, guys, also, with this build, I, in all honesty, like, I want to get a hand, like my hands on a build like this, you know, use it in the park, but I can see why a lot of people like to use this, and, you know, you're not going to be bullied around on defense, anything like that. And, on, and honestly, like, honestly, you're pretty much a two-way, okay? So, contact finisher, I'd probably put for the finishing badges, the only finishing badge we get, um, but this is where it gets interesting, guys. 22 shooting, 22! Oh my goodness, my other build only has 18 and I can shoot like crazy with that build. So 22, oh my goodness, I'm cheering. Okay, so quick draw, max outrage extender, hot zone hunter, uh, corner, catch and shoot, silver. I can maybe even put that on bronze due to the fact that I have such a high, you know, mid range of three point, but we'll just go with that. Corner specialist, silver. I would honestly get difficult shots on gold. Um, dead eye, volume shooter, that. Oh, actually, I might, yeah, I might max it out there. Yeah, I might max it out there um, and have a, set, a setup like this. Okay, in all honesty, guys, I would maybe get. Get green machine but i feel like i wouldn't even struggle you know hitting greens with this with this you know with this build because yeah you're mainly predominantly shooting and like i said with my build i green very easy and you know that's a 75 three point so this is an 84 three point it'll be a whole different game okay so something like this would be really really nice to have as a shooting badges but you know if you want green machine as well i know people like it you know you're free to have on, uh, on something like that okay so that would be the badge setup for the shooting in my opinion okay but like i said you don't you don't need to copy it all the time okay so playmaker playmaking very easy quick first step handles for days um tight handles space creator maybe uh unpluckable and bailout both on bronze and then oh ankle breaker you know honestly guys since i got the badge points like i'm not able to max it out max it out i might go you know something like dimer and then uh yeah maybe then maybe get ankle breaker or even stop and go something like that okay maybe even like yeah maybe get silver dimer okay dimer's a really good badge it really helps out your teammates and if you have like playmaking takeover as well 
oh, you're gonna get take over very, very fast or even having, you know, like flashy passer on, something like that, okay? So you have something like that to help you out, you know, get takeover much more faster um, in that sense. But, you know, quick first step, tight handles, space creator handles for days. Those are a must, you know, uh, you know, like kind of like max out. And I'll definitely look at, you know, if I did have the extra batch point, maybe maxing out um, ankle breaker. I'd maybe, you know, if, if anything, I'd maybe get rid of bailout, okay? I'd maybe get rid of bailout so I'm able to max out ankle breaker if I really want to catch ankles every single time. Okay, so something like that. So up to you which way you want to go um, But that would be the playmaking badge set up for me in my opinion when it comes to that Okay, lastly guys defense. Yo, this is insane 11 Yo, of course, uh, you know, gold clamps are going to go gold intimidator. I really like, guys, uh, rim protector uh, on, on bronze at least. Tireless defender, you got to at least have on bronze will help you out. Lightning reflexes, and then maybe, in all honesty, guys, you probably need pick dodger as well. Uh, maybe just get that on bronze and then chase down. I, I like chase down artists, guys. I really like having chase down artists on. It really helps you get back on defense. It's not even just about the block in general. Just getting back on defense, it will help you out tremendously, especially if you get blown by. So something like this guys you know you can get something like this maybe even you know drop intimidator to silver and then maybe get something else like lightning reflexes on uh, on silver or maybe even chase down artists or something like that so guys 11 badges on a, on a on a build that doesn't even have red in it is honestly insane you got a lot to work with when it comes to defense um so trust me you're not gonna have any trouble you know trying to stay in front of defenders uh sorry offenders uh or anything like that offenders is that even a word i'm talking about offense people sorry okay so that is pretty much it for today's video i just want to say thank you so much hope you don't turn me into the main for all the dumb stuff i like you know all the brain farts i had in today's video but thank you again for watching today's video guys hope you did enjoy it. but let's get into the shout outs because no you've been waiting for it so quick shout out to j boogie 8505 slender bender christopher ellis messiah ep n le troopa miss goat 724 little e and little d and cozio marga for calling my last video thank you guys so much i appreciate you all guys i just want to wrap up the video just by saying thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you did enjoy it i hope this build helps you out i know we are coming into the last months of 2k um so i just want to say for all the support lately you guys have been shown uh, honestly i really really do appreciate it i couldn't thank you guys enough uh, but i hope you're still trying to enjoy the game as much as you can and i've got some big things coming in the future i'm gonna keep that on the side keep it a secret for now but just thank you again for everything, guys. Hope everyone's staying safe during this time. I'm praying for you all. So just try to make the most of it and let's get through this together, all right? Go some fun, go get lit, and I'll see you soon. Peace.